This is a quick video to show you how to set up your headland management for your one touch. Uh, you want to pick one of the boxes here from your run screen. Uh, we'll pick the engine on the top and push in your scroll knob. Next thing you want to do is scroll over to your headland management icon. Push in your scroll knob again. That will bring up your one touch page. Over here there's a headland management picture. You want to hit the button that corresponds with that. And you want to pick the hand. This is going to allow us to add or delete boxes for our one touch. So push the button there. Now we're able to add boxes and delete boxes. The first thing you want to do is add a box. And now we're going to scroll the knob to pick what we want it to do. Let's say in this instance where we want the cylinder to extend. So we're going to pick the extend on number one and push in your scroll knob to save it. Now we're going to add another box in there. And let's say we want our number one cylinder to shut off. So we're going to shut off the number one hydraulics. Push in your scroll knob to save it. Now let's add another box. And we're going to want our number one cylinder to retract. So push in your scroll knob again to save that. Now hit your button down here with the check mark and that will save your configuration. Now this is not turned on yet so what we need to do is turn it on. All To do that all you have to do is just hit the button that corresponds with your start and you'll see how it popped up over here on the left. That's going to stay there when we go back to the run screen. Let's go ahead and back out of that by doing that. Hit your escape. This will take us back to our run screen. If you don't want to see this one touch, you want to put your engine information back on there. Just highlight that, push in your scroll knob, and then push in your engine information button. Now as you can see over here on the left, we're looking at our one touch. As we push the button on the bottom of the joystick, it's going to advance each time and you'll see the hydraulics over here change. So now we're at 100% flow for number one. And this box shows us what's the next thing gonna happen. So it's gonna stop the hydraulics when we push the button again.